Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-March general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Virgo, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was These Three Words by Stevie Wonder. I'll leave a link to your song, to that song in the description box below. So you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, I don't know if you guys just seen that, but I hit on top of the deck with some um, crystals and also copper. Some of you guys may need to tap into that energy of copper. You guys know that's good for grounding. It also is associated with fire energy. So some of you guys can be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, Mr. Stevie Wonder himself happens to be a Taurus. So you could be dealing with a fellow earth sign. Um, also with the song, these three words, of course, he's talking about, I love, um, I love you, right? So someone could be telling you that, or someone could be fearing telling you that because they may fear that you don't feel the same way. They don't want to be the per first person to say it also. I'm getting that as well. If you think about it, even if you're not dealing with someone who is a Taurus, Taurus is the bull. So this person could be a little stubborn. I feel like they may be having an issue saying that because they, they don't want to be vulnerable. That's that's stubborn, being stubborn with your emotions and feelings. I'm getting that also. Um, if it's not them, this could be you as well. So let's see. And also, I have to... Hmm, somebody's being slow. They're slow moving with showing their affections. And I did say Stevie Wonder is a Taurus. You have Taurus Rebel Capricorn here, so... I want to read the message that I got with this. Um, and I picked this up in, initially. What I heard is, I don't think you understand how strong their feelings are for you. How strong this person's feelings are for you. And it's because they're being very guarded. He's head to toe in armor. So, which means that's protection. Guarding your, yourself. So this person is very guarded. They may have been through something very hurtful in the past. Because he's a knight. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. So this person is coming out of some type of hurt. But there's strong feelings between you and this individual, or you may feel like this, because this could be you also. Somebody's holding back. Somebody is very guarded, is what I'm getting overall here. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Yeah, somebody's guarded. Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person loves you. That's, that's I love you right there. Look how strong the energy is. Could be associated with a water sign. Look what's peeking out right here. I just want you guys to see this. Someone's in love with you. Or you're in love with somebody. Now, also, you could be completely single. And if you are, whoever this new person who comes in, you can meet somebody in the air sign season. The next air sign is, um, time frame is Gemini, which is May, June. I just feel like when you meet this person, either you or this person are guarded. Like, somebody wants to move on, have a brand new love, because aces are always brand new. Someone wants new love, but they're also guarded and fearful, is what I'm getting also. Because they've been through some things. Also, I want you guys to look up Koi. Koi fish spirit animal and leave it in the comment section below how that message resonates with you because there's a message there also. Okay. So I want to go through the deck. <laughs> somebody's denying their feelings. Seven of swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Somebody's denying their feelings or well, they're not telling you why they're scared to move forward with love or you're not doing it. Somebody's not doing it. Yeah. I do feel like somebody was put a third party and they're, yep, they were hurt. See, you got three of cups. This this is definitely giving me third party. And then the nine of wands, wounded warrior. Yeah. Someone also can have Amber, Auburn. What Aub, is Auburn? Amber, Auburn. Certain words I can't pronounce. I, I'm like, not to be offensive, but I can have a country type of way of, of saying things. But um, copper, I'm getting like hair colors. Like somebody can have like these type of colors. I keep being drawn to this copper ginger however that resonates with you somebody may have that kind of color to their hair i'm getting that also their skin color could be like a a bronzish brownish color like i'm kind of red brown dark you know somebody could have somebody can be a dark complexion I'm getting it also and i'm not even doing it and this keeps wanting to roll over here and look at it it has like flat surfaces right here and, it, and it's on the side is round, but it keeps wanting to roll towards me. Some of you guys really need to tap into or look up the element copper and how it helps you advance spiritually. I'm definitely getting grounding, grounding and clearing. I know I have these myself because when I meditate, I lay down and I put them on my chakras, right? And it helps balance and align your chakras. So some of you guys may, that may be a message for you also to balance and align your chakras because there could be something out of line, alignment, you know. So again, I want to get you guys major arcana. The hermit and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. So justice. 
And I'm hearing right now, it's only right. Like somebody's saying, it's only right that you say something first. So it's only right that this, somebody's saying something is only right. Because if you notice, the sword is down. Sword's communication and mental, the sword is down. So it's like, it's only right if this person says it first. Or I'll only speak if this person says it first. I'm getting something like that. It's kind of, it's kind of giving me immaturity, but I want you to also notice, remember I keep talking about this copper nugget just keeps on a roll. If you look at this planet right here, it's like that same color, huh? You get what I'm saying? Like something's going on with copper. There may be somebody's element, because you know, we all have different elements that are associated with us, associated with our time of birth and year of birth. It, you look that up, because I feel like that may be big. And I'm going to tell you right now, copper is also a part of alchemy. So alchemy is talking about manifestation and changes, alchemical changes. You guys may want to tap into that, because I feel like there's a lot of messages for you in regards to that as well. Okay, you also have Libra right here with justice also. So Libra could resonate for you as well. Some of you guys could be on the Libra cusp as well. Okay, so again, we want the hermit and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay, this is going to happen soon. Very soon. This is going to happen in, in March. Okay, so right here you have a six of swords and right behind it you have three of pentacles. Building, establishing something together. Again, it's giving me earth sign um, vibes. And of course your earth sign, but it could be a fellow earth sign. You may want to give your heart to somebody, but there's fear. Both of them, I want you to notice, both of them have on hood. So both people are dealing with some type of fear here. You and a love interest, wow. As soon as I put the deck down at the back of the deck, the world card, travel distance, for movement. So somebody wants to move something forward, but there's fear. Again, I keep getting Taurus. Remember I said Stevie Wonder's a Taurus. You got Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So some of you guys can have a new love interest coming in in Taurus season if you're single. Wow. Okay. So yeah, three of pentacles building, establishing something together right behind it. You have a queen of cups. Yeah. Somebody feels strong for someone. Very strong feelings. You or this person could be born in the year of the dog. First, middle, last initial for you or someone. A love interest could be C, G, M, W, Q, N, P, or S. And remember I said the name of the song is these three words. You got three of pentacles. Somebody wants to offer you their heart, but there's fear here. Their past is something in their past. Because see, she's leaving something behind. Something in someone's past is holding them back from expressing their emotions and feelings. Again, you could be in a relationship with someone and you could have been with them for a while, for years, and this person doesn't openly and expressively, um, like verbally, they don't talk about love. And I know that because swords, swords communication and mental, these swords are down. So someone has a hard time being very vocal and saying, I love you and things like that because of something from their past is what I'm getting. Yeah, second time, you got the Queen of Cups. So someone is holding back. They're holding on to their emotions. If you notice, that cup has a lid on it. So someone is putting a lid on their emotions because they don't like being vulnerable. That's what I'm getting. Either you are a love interest. Again, if you are single and you meet this person, they're, they're very much have the same vibe here. It's like they want to move forward because, you know, she has that hood on, which means she's still wearing layers. There's still something weighing heavy on her, but she's moving forward. So someone still wants to move forward and have love, but they're holding back. That You know... How does that work? Yep, holding them back because they're still heartbroken a little bit. You got the four of swords and over this person, there's three swords. Three of swords is heartbreak. So, yeah. And then I say these three words and there's three swords and swords communication and mental words right over this person. This person has a hard time expressing love. Again, this could be you because they're very guarded, you know, because of something that happened in the past. Definitely, again, could be involved in a fire sign. Leo Sash Aries. Yeah, ooh, Leo. You have the sun card. This could be with the mother or father of your child. Because you did have a child there. Bottom of the deck, you, yep. <laughs> Some of you guys, it definitely could be a fire sign. Or you could have ended a situation with someone in the fire sign season. Again, Leo Sash Aries. And this would be, you know, of course, prior to this year. Because we haven't met those time frames yet. We haven't approached any fire sign season. We won't be there till the end of March. Let's get a clarifier for the six of wands. Okay. You had too many cards fall out. And it's interesting because I said the name of the song is these three words. You had three cards fall out, but they fit, they hit face down. So again, not showing your hand, the cards are down. So we don't see what these cards are. So it's like this person isn't showing their hand, but they will soon. You had three cards facing down. Now he's, he's holding the third pinnacle of the three pinnacles. Wow. <laughs> so some of you guys, you're going to have somebody who's going to express some feelings for you in March. Wow. Interesting. Okay. And you had two cards flip up. They want to express their feelings. So you got the six of wands in reverse. <laughs> 
Okay, it's interesting because you got the Six of Swords, now you got the Six of Wands, okay? Look at that. Even though he's in reverse, he's going towards her. So that's why I said this is somebody who has had some type of failure in love before because the Six of Wands is success, attainment, achievement, victory. In reverse, this is someone who has experienced some type of failure in the past, but it's like they still want to come towards you or you want to come towards them if you have strong fire sign placements in your chart. If you think about it, 6 plus 6 is 12. Of 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. Something's coming up in um and before March wraps up for some of you all. Now this will also be a past love interest who is gonna come back because they were very they were scared to be vulnerable. And I feel like they 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 don't want you to move on, so they're gonna come back and express that they see value in you. They know your value now, because again, pentacles hold value. And this is something that you were hoping and wishing for. You were hoping that this person would come out and just express how they feel. Star card is wish fulfillment and healing. It's a major arcana, so it's a definite energy. And this is also associated with Aquarius. So some of you guys could have broke up with someone in Aquarius season. This could be Aquarius also, as it is swords. You know, a lot of you all could have left a situation because this person didn't express or show appreciation for you. And I feel like now this person, because it came up right. This person now is expressing gratitude, expressing that, you know, you make them happy. Because, again, this is a wish being fulfilled. This person is expressing gratitude and that they're happy with you. I feel like this is going to happen for a lot of you guys before um, before March ends. And then also for those of you who are single, you're going to be connected with somebody who's going to want to work and build with you. And express that, you know, they know that you're the person that they want in life. Because, again, Star Card talks about wish fulfillment. Like, this is someone who's going to come into your life who's going to make you feel balanced here. And I, I'm also getting, like, for a lot of y'all, all you want and all you need and all you require is, like, some type of emotional validation. And I'm getting emotional because she's, you know, she's in the water. What is the emotions and feelings? Somebody's rising sign could be Aquarius also. And somebody could be a life path number six, as you do have these two sixes here. Somebody's life path number could definitely be six. You could be in a personal year six. And you guys know last year we were in a universal year six. So something could have wrapped up last year. But I feel like this person never completely left your space or your energy. They've still been around or they're trying to still be around. And they're trying to make a mess. They're trying to heal a situation with you. And they're hoping that you accept their um, offer or accept their communication is what I'm getting. I'm going to say right now, if there was an ending with somebody, it's because this person was fearful of rejection, fearful of being hurt again. Just just fear. There was fear. Because, again, both of these people here have hoods on, which means they're hiding certain aspects of themselves. They, there's fear. Is what I'm getting here. Okay? So, Virgo, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Be well. Bye.